Hello guys, Igor here doing one more app summer review. Today analyzing instantly a tool that automates and scale your B2B code email outreach with the power of AI. So they are one of those classic code email outreach tool that you're going to use to pitch your service, your product, a new job, a new networking to people that you don't know yet and you want to collect more leads to achieve some kind of purpose, usually a professional one. Let's check out the limits and when you see the tool, you're going to see that it's pretty used to access all the features and also the difference here from the others code email outreach tools is that they claim to use AI. So you're going to get email customization, automated sequence, advanced scheduling, email and account analytics, email bounce detection, smart sending and follow-ups, and the email rewriting. All of the tiers get the hypergrowth plan updates. And the difference here is the number of email that you can send per month and also the active leads. For most people, the tier one will be enough. So it's the kind of deal that you can be good with the tier one but if you can get the tier three you're gonna get much better limits so tier one is good enough but if you want to send more emails per month you have a tier three with better limits that value values more your money so let's check out the tool as you can see here the dashboard is pretty clean the first thing that you're gonna do is to add your email account so if you click here to add new you have google option microsoft or using any provider if you have the imap or smgp the google process is not automatic by now so you need to get an app password on google it's pretty simple and the instructions are here it's pretty easy to do. Also, for instance, if you're going to add your IMAP or SMTP, it's SMTP, you need to have that information on your email service and you can add it here using any providers and you need to add your email and password as well. After you add your email, you can see here I add mine. You have some data here. First one, the number of mails you sent in campaigns per month. Here, your warm-up emails sent past week. Here, warm-up emails landed in inbox past week. The ones that went to the spam folder and watch your warm-up health score. So the two, you're going to know if your email has a health score or not. Why? I'm going to explain that as you can see here you can also have a custom tracking domain this is good for your warm-up process and to avoid your emails to went up on the spam box in the spam box so you can as add a custom domain with a c name pretty easy to do it's like you do with any c name and here you can use their warm-up service why you need to warm up when you do code email outreach to maintain your email domain with a good health score why when you use code email you're gonna send many emails and you're gonna send more emails than you're gonna receive so this will unbalance your account and you are gonna have a low score a low health score with that low health score your next emails can just go to the spam folder so when you have a code email campaign active it's good to enable 
your warm-up tool because then they're gonna balance the number of emails that you receive and the number of emails that you sent. So when you start a campaign, when you're doing a campaign, just enable your warm-up process. That's why all the tools that are doing code email outreach, they're, they're building a warm-up tool inside. And here is good instantly has that feature and also the custom tracking domain. On a warm-up setting, you can decide how many emails you're going to send per day, the daily limit, and the reply rate. Here is for activate the email warm-up using the icons, the settings we saw, and we have also a warm-up analytics. And pretty simple. So as I said, it's pretty clean, the platform. The analytics is checked here, and you're going to see the number of opened emails, the number of sent emails, your open rate, replied, and reply rate. Okay? All your publishing campaigns are going to appear on that analytics dashboard. And we have only one more icon, one more button that is here on campaigns. So how we're going to create a campaign. Since we have an email there on the platform, we're going to create a new campaign. So my campaign, my first one, first thing we're going to do is to add your leads. The leads are the people that you're going to contact to do your campaign. For instance, to try to sell your product or your service. You can use a CSV to add many emails or use a Google Sheets or even enter the emails manually okay so you can use that format here just then change them john doe here i'm gonna add one of my emails here another email here that's good i have added three emails on my campaign and now i'm gonna import those emails here is where we we will write our code email campaign you can write your subject, my campaign, and here, clicking here, you can choose the variables. For instance, the name of the person or the profession, if you have those kind of data on your CSV, as variables. You can save as, tem as template or email, and I'm going to show you which kind of features you have here for the code email outreach. You can use bold, italic, underline, they have basic, basic features and use templates. You can see here they have many templates. Those are the variables, first name, company name. Okay. So those are the variable, the templates that you can use to just follow your email outreach campaign. And you can also create custom templates. So if you add an uh, email that you think it, it's interesting and you're going to send again. Just go here and save that email as template. And clicking here, you can preview your email and even send a test email to your inbox. And you can add new steps clicking on that button. So let's check out which kind of steps they have. You can wait a number of days after the first step. So after the first email, I'm going to add wait for three days and then I can also wait for three days and then create different steps if the person opens the email or replies to the email. So I'm waiting three days, but if the person opens the, this email before that, I'm going to skip wait time and ap apply it. I ha have just added a new condition. Okay. And I can add a step three and that's step three. I'm going to add my second email on my campaign. Okay. And then when I want to, to save, I just click on the blue button. And then I'm going to save here one, two and second step. And then I'm going to schedule. So which days are going to send the email? Okay. All the days of the week. From which time to which time? From 9 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. is what we usually 
usually do. And then you're going to select your time zone and save. And on option, you're going to select the email that you're going to use for your campaign. If you're going to track email opens or not. If you're going to stop sending emails on someone reply, enable or disable. If you're going to use the smart send feature, observing your sending limits. And which one is your daily send limits? So you can select limits by the max number of new leads to contact per day and the number of emails and then you click here to launch your campaign it's done okay and you're going to check your results here on your analytics you can see here, here that it's active my campaign one to stop your campaign to pause it you just need to click here and your campaign is paused you're not going to receive the you're not going to send emails anymore on setting you can see your profile and your usage so that is the reveal. I hope you like it. Please click on the button below. I have a chance for you to get 10% off on your Epsomo purchase. Just click on the button below and you're going to go to the plus landing page. Thank you so much. Bye bye.